Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Super Flat World Challenge, where the goal is to get 80 gold ingots to make 20 gold blocks to make a Minger Sponge. A golden Minger Sponge. And we're going to kill these cows. Because they will give me lots of meat. And I won't have to depend upon bread anymore. Uh, let's get rid of that. It's going to be useless. All right, lots of cows. And the slimes are going to start crowding in on me because I've been in this spot for more than 15 seconds. i got to leave a breadcrumb trail here. And so in the last video, I rather quickly gathered resources from a NPC town that was smaller than another and then I came over to this one and discovered a NPC village that I've already been to so because before I was doing this trail of cobblestone I was just running around in whatever direction I left the next village from but now I'm going in a straight line so it should help me not run across villages I've already raided. I'm pretty much a bandit, aren't I? Anyways, we'll do a time lapse until I reach the next village. Alright, new village. This is kind of interesting here. I've never seen just a bunch of street lamps like that right there in a row. Hopefully this village will... Oh, I saw a blacksmith over there. Yeah, let's quickly get to that before slimes... Oh, there's two? Two in this village as well? The last two, two videos have been very, very lucky. I found... Oh, two gold ingots and pair of iron leggings. I didn't have iron leggings. An obsidian. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, I got some flint. No steel, though. I still need steel. Let's find a crafting bench. I can turn these feathers into arrows. Should have done that a little while ago. Yeah. There we go. Don't need that chicken. And we'll just take a quick look in here. And I don't need any cobblestone or wood. I've got plenty for now. So I won't be taking any of those resources from this village. Okay, what do we got? More obsidian. I don't really need that much. But I'll take it anyways, because that's fairly rare. At least I've, at so far, I've not seen any obsidian. This must be the obsidian town. Kill all these slimes, I guess. Why not? Alright, and then we're going to move on and look for another village. Because I don't need to take any resources from here. Unless I want to make sure I check out the houses that might potentially have a chest. Yeah, I don't think there's any more here. Okay, so I'll continue on in this direction. I need to leave some kind of marking over there actually so that I know which direction is the right direction. I should make a sign actually is what I should do. I don't have time to do that though. So I'll just I'll know that that way is the right way to go. Hopefully. Out of my way. And here we go. Going to run past this big slime that can hurt me. I 
and we'll do a time lapse again. Found another village here, fairly close to the previous village. And I can't tell from here if there's any blacksmiths or not. Oh, wait, I see one. Wow. The last few towns I found have had blacksmiths. I wonder if this one's going to have two as well. Because when I was first starting out with this series, I wasn't really finding any blacksmiths. And these blacksmiths always have a chest. And they usually have good stuff in them. Oh, more gold. And saplings. That's extremely useful. Get rid of the slimes. Because trees are uber rare. They don't even spawn. I still don't need any more wood or cobblestone, so I don't need to harvest any from here. Check all the houses quickly. Aye. Use that arrow, or, you know, that bow. Oh, skeleton! Um, what? Oh, this is a ambush here. Take that arrow. Yeah. I don't really want to... Oh. oh boy, this is bad. I need to... Eat here. I probably just wasted that last piece of bread, but oh well. Uh, well, I don't really need to harvest any supplies, and it's not really safe for me to be going out at night, so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to, uh, I guess, well, I could use some more wood, but I'm going to do a time lapse so this goes by quicker. I just wanted to comment on how weird this is that this, this church has torches, but it's dark. I thought that was really weird. But, uh, taking shelter in this church here, and I'm probably going to tear it down for to even up my fourth stack there. To show my gratitude, I guess, for shelter. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to wait out the night safely. I'm going to make a run for it as soon as I can figure out where my breadcrumb it trail is. Uh, it's somewhere far off, I think. It's off in that direction, I believe, because I saw this first. So let's do that as safely as I can. Yeah, there's, there's that trail. This could be a very horrible idea, but it'll keep it interesting. I should not be running straight for that spider, but there's skeletons on either side. I'm just going to have to keep sprinting. And I won't be able to see villages too clearly during the night either. So I was barely able to see that. Well, no, they've got plenty of lights, so it might be a little bit easier actually. To see a village in a distance. Okay. And I should definitely not run backwards. So I'm going to run in this direction and just walk around these bits of cobblestone as I place them. Oh. Something exploded. This is pretty dangerous. Just 
Take a quick peek around. We keep moving. Oh, great. Right in front of me. Alright, keep moving. Oh, Enderman. I don't have to look at him, though. God dang it, I'm gonna have to fight this skeleton. And a spider. And this a zombie. Stopping was probably a bad idea, but oh well. I can get by. Whoa, that's a ton of skeletons. So far, I don't see any villages. Make sure I'm going in the same direction. Alright, and dawn is breaking. So, me in this video here. And after the next piece of cobblestone I lay down. There we go, just get rid of these guys here. Come on. I know how to fight creepers. Ah! He almost got me. Yeah, I should fix that up, but oh well. Anyways, that's enough for this video. It was very productive, found lots of gold. And thank you for watching. See you again later.